Hello, I'm happy to be with you once again, looking into God's Word. We have been talking about the fact that attending church is necessary for those of us who call ourselves Christians, because God expects it and orders it. Also, it is important in maintaining our relationship with Christ. Also, it is the natural inclination and desire of newly born again believers. Then also today, I would point out that we also must gather at the place of worship to work together to fulfill the great commission which is given to all Christians. The great commission, the command of Christ to win the unsaved, to build them up in the faith. In Mark chapter 16 and verse 15, Jesus said, Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. And in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, he said, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Now, how can you and I do that if we are alone somewhere, if that's our church, and uh, we're not working together to spread the gospel? It is possible, but very improbable, that you and I will go into all the world with the gospel unless we are a part of a group who gather in the name of Christ. And how will we be able to stand before him at the judgment if we haven't been a regular part of a missionary organization? Getting the good news of Jesus out to the world. Just the fact that at least one dime out of every dollar that you put into the offerings of our church goes to world evangelism, outreach to unchurched people. And that should make you want to gather with us as we worship. You know the story of Jesus up on the mountain at what we call the Transfiguration? They wanted to stay up there and just enjoy the warm atmosphere with him and other saints. But, uh, but so many seem to interpret the word Jesus as J-E-S-U-S, -S, just us. <laughs> there was a church in one town where I used to minister that had a sign saying J-E-S dash U.S. Just us. Well, one of the chief reasons the Lord has saved us is for us to get out there with others. Not just us, but with others. To win others to Christ. To encourage other Christians. The locally organized congregation offers the only likely avenue the means, the apparatus, without which most of us will not be able to do all that, not be able to get the gospel of Jesus Christ to all the world. That's a, a, a tremendous reason to be a part of an organized church. Jesus said that we Christians had to bear fruit, reproduce ourselves as Christians, and that he would hold us accountable for not doing it, or for doing it or not doing it. It is possible without being a participant in a locally organized church, but so much more difficult and unlikely. Evangelism, winning others to Christ, must be an ongoing passion for that congregation, that assembly, the individual Christian, each of us individual Christians, need to be a part of that. Jesus commanded it. 
We also need to be a part of that local church congregation in order to support one another as Christians. Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, and we firmly believe that in every church you have placed caring people who, if we give them a chance, it usually won't happen the first time we enter the place, but if we give them a chance, maybe two or three weeks, they will, they will, someone will notice us and reach out to us. We thank you for such Christian friends. What a treasure they are. We thank you for them, the church, people. In Jesus' name we pray and praise you. Amen.